welcome on board M2, a 120-foot Benetti motor yacht that's available to you because she can be chartered. Now, when you're thinking of chartering a yacht, what are the most important things? Well, certainly the water toys and the amenities are extremely important. And actually, we're going to go back to this yacht when she's in the Bahamas to film another video showing you all of the amazing toys that are on board this yacht, but in the beautiful settings of one of the islands of the Bahamas. But of course, it's also important to feel that it's a yacht that has sufficient space for you and for your friends and family, and also that has a decor that you feel relaxed to be on board. After all, you could be spending a week, two, or even three weeks on board a yacht the size of this. So on this video, we're going to take a look all over the yacht itself so that you can be the judge as to whether this is a yacht that you would like to charter. And the first thing to say is that this is a very Miami South Beach style of interior. I love this minimalist furniture that's here. It's also very comfortable. It's certainly not fashion over practicality, but rather a lovely, easy, relaxing area to be in with a, a television that pops up here just in case you do want to watch the television at any point during your charter. A few toys are behind me here in this basket here. And you may ask yourself the question, what are ping pong balls doing on a yacht? Well, I'll be giving you the answer to that in a few moments, and it's probably not exactly what you think I'm going to say. Moving forward, we have this lovely bar area here. This has been modernized uh, quite recently with this lovely fabric uh, front to it, and this gorgeous white marble. Now, marble, as you know, is one of nature's works of art. It's just incredible, the various different sorts of marble. And of course, every piece is totally unique. So I thought it was very appropriate that instead of having a painting on the wall behind the dining table, they have that huge piece of marble. And it looks very, very impressive indeed. And the color of it lightens up the whole area. Um, I call this a dining table. The crew pointed out to me that people very, do, very rarely do eat inside a yacht. I mean, sometimes they do because, of course, if the weather's not so good, maybe it's raining, then you always have this option. But actually, this is used very often as a ping pong table. And it often happens that the male guests will be playing ping pong while they're waiting for the lady guests to get changed and ready for dinner, hop in a tender and go to shore to some beautiful restaurant or eat maybe from the great chef on board on one of the various different tables that are on the yacht. We'll be seeing that in a few moments. Before we move on, I want to also point out this feature here because this particular model of Benetti um, has a few different options. One of them is to have a piece of solid furniture here that reaches right up to the ceiling and still has the stairwell within the furniture. Uh, that's an interesting option to have. However, I do prefer this option, which just opens up the whole lounge area and makes it seem so much bigger. It's still perfectly safe. You won't have your children running onto the yacht and disappearing down the stairwell because you have this protection here, but it gives it a more light and airy feel. Let's move further forward. You have a day head here, that's a useful thing to have on charter, especially if you have children who are in and out of the water and need to use the bathroom. This way they don't have to go down to the cabins every time, uh, but rather can just nip through here and use the day head. The master stateroom is kind of divided into two. You have this area here, which also has a little beauty cabinet, so you can put your makeup on and plenty of wardrobe space. And again, depending on how you enjoy having your vacations, uh, some people do enjoy dressing up and going out for special dinners. So there's plenty of space there for all of the clothes that you want to bring on board. We then move up two steps to the master stateroom and it is really impressive. This is such a nice layout. It's spacious, all the space you could ever need. We have more wardrobe space over here. But I have to say, I love this seat because I can just imagine in a moment when you want to be on your own to maybe read a book or make a telephone call, this is just crying out to you to take a seat and relax and then just enjoy the solitude of being in your own cabin. It's a little feature, but often these little details make such a big difference to the choice of charter that you have. Needless to say, 
we have a beautiful bathroom in here which has his and hers sinks. Again, use of this lovely white marble, a nice tub, a large shower. And this is quite a good feature. You see the windows there. You really just need to say to the captain, look, I'm gonna have a soak in the tub. And that way he knows to let the crew know not to be in this area. And you can enjoy soaking there in your bubble bath, enjoying the natural light and the surroundings. That's assuming that you are the main charter guest. If you're a guest of the main charter, let's take a look to see what the other staterooms are like. This model of Benetti is called the Benetti Classic and it's made the history of yachting for how popular it really is. And one of the secrets to that popularity is certainly the simplicity of the layout. Here we have twin, in the sense of being identical, staterooms with twin single beds in them. There's plenty of space between the two of them. They're nice sizes, very comfortable looking. You have wardrobe space behind the door here a television on the bulkhead behind this door, and of course, a very lovely ensuite bathroom. And in this bathroom, instead of using marble that features throughout the rest of the yacht, you've got that gorgeous white inox that absolutely illuminates the whole of the bathroom. It must be such a joy in the morning to hop in here, have a shower, have a wash. I was gonna say have a shave. I think if I was on vacation on a charter, I'd probably sacrifice having the shave. This is a lovely feature as well. Rather than just leave this bulkhead flat with wood or, or just some leather panels, they have this beautiful relief here. I mean, it's practically a work of art. And it's, it's those little details that remind you you're on a luxury yacht. You're not just on a boat, you're on an Italian luxury vessel. So we have a further two staterooms here, this time with double beds. Again, very well appointed a nicely sized television set, good wardrobe space. That makes me feel that this is a great yacht. If you've got friends or maybe children who are already married and grandchildren, you've got the option of having two couples and their children and yourself as the main charterer on the master stateroom. And I can hardly think of a better way of spending time with your friends and family than spending time on board M2 in this wonderful layout. Again, you have a really nicely proportioned ensuite bathroom, this time with the marble rather than the inox, good sized shower, everything anybody could possibly want. spoken a lot about the interior decor of course one of the big joys of any charter is enjoying great food from a wonderful chef so let's take a look at the galley the galley suitably enough is close to the main interior dining area, but look at the size of this. I'd remind you we're on a 120 foot yacht with a very spacious and very well appointed galley indeed. This lovely marble countertop that's so easy to keep clean, stainless steel Miele appliances, a good sized oven there. And I've mentioned this in other videos, but one of the great joys of course of being on the water is catching fish. And so it's good to have an oven that's big enough for a good big fish that you can catch. 
Added to that, we have a, a crew mess area here. Although I can quite imagine that this would be a nice spot to just sit and have a coffee or have your breakfast if you enjoy chatting with the crew. And the crew on this yacht are so friendly and, and such a, a happy bunch of people to be with. Personally, if I was chartering him too, I would certainly enjoy just sitting there for a few minutes, having a chat uh, with some of the crew. It doesn't end here though, because of course this is a tri-deck yacht. So let's have a look at the next deck up. So this is called the Sky Lounge, and the Sky Lounge on this Bonetti 120 is really quite special. Very, very sizable, very, very comfortable. Large bar area, lovely seating area. You have again on this side, you have a large television screen which slides up and, and down. This is quite interesting, this piece of furniture here. It's actually practically a, a work of art. It's been beautifully beautifully manufactured and I can well imagine it's a good place just to put a few snacks and a few drinks and I could imagine myself with my feet up here watching the Formula One just stretching backwards for another bottle of Bex. It's a great workable layout. I think often when I'm in a sky lounge I, I think of watching the Formula One probably because I've done that. I've enjoyed that with friends on a yacht in the past. It's a wonderful environment to be able to watch the sports and of course the yacht's big enough that if people don't want to do that there's plenty of other areas that they can hang out in and enjoy themselves. Let's look at some of those areas now because we're going to take a look at the deck space on board M2. Again, this is what has made Bonetti such a successful builder of yachts. The deck space here is just marvelous. It's surprisingly large for a 120 foot yacht. As you can see, you've got this beautiful table here for dining and surely on your charter, this will probably be where you do most of your dining. It's big enough for 10. All that the crew would have to do is move the table a little bit that way. They have the extra seats to put on at the end. And of course, this is a yacht that can cater to 10 people in five different staterooms. Um, the crew were really enthusiastic to show off their table laying prowess, and I think they did a great job of that. Um, and actually, of course, crew are such an important element to enjoying your charter. Now, we'll be featuring the crew a little bit more in a future video when we're in the Bahamas, but I can tell you the time we've been on board, they are such a vibrant, happy, cheerful group of individuals. I failed to see how anybody could not enjoy their time on board M2 with them. This conjures up to me pictures of people enjoying cocktails in the seating area over there. If you have some raucous people making a racket, you can be sitting over here having a, a more quiet and sophisticated conversation. Or if they're really making too much noise before you have dinner, you can have a chat up on the sun deck. And the sun deck does everything that a sun deck is supposed to do. It's a wonderful area to sunbathe. And you have not just all of that acres of sunbathing area over there, but also four individual uh, sunbathers at the aft area. You have a really large barbecue over on the starboard side that you can put some big porterhouse steaks on and really enjoy yourself, or maybe cook those fish that you caught earlier in the day. And you have this really nice, sizable, jacuzzi tub. Let's have a look at the bow area.
Now, I've mentioned this in other videos, what a, a very clever and practical solution it is to have side decks that correspond with the main lounge, where space is seldom really an issue in the main lounge, so you can have side decks here. And then steps up, which allow you to make the Sky Lounge a lot wider, far greater beam. The steps up lead past the pilot house and to the Portuguese bridge, where again, you have more sunbathing. For the fearless amongst you that don't need lots and lots of protection from the sun, this is just a wonderful area to stretch out, enjoy yourself and enjoy the incredible surroundings that you'll be in. I mean, today we're in Miami. Personally, I love Miami. I love the, the city skyline and to be able to just soak in the environment here. Uh, of course, the Bahamas, the Exumas, are such wonderful popular retreats as well. And to be there in that beautiful blue water sitting out here must be a real treat. She is available either in the Bahamas or here to charter for you, as I said earlier, we will be coming back to the yacht to show you all the host of water toys that they have when the yacht is in the Bahamas. Uh, we just felt that the, the picturesque background there would be even better to show the inflatable water slide, the inflatable swimming pool, the wakeboards, the jet skis, the host of toys, not to mention the tender. They actually have a 42 foot chase boat with four 450 horsepower engines on it. Can you imagine that? I can't wait to actually see that in action. And those are the things that really make a charter memorable, to be able to talk about your friends about going at 60 miles an hour when the sea is flat like this, arriving at a secluded beach, having a barbecue on the beach, and then hightailing it back to the yacht again in the evening. That is what yacht charters are made for, and that is what M2 is made for, and what makes it such a really amazing yacht to go and charter on. At the end of this video, we'll show you the contact details that you need to contact for details of the yacht. If you possibly can, I'd encourage you to do so.